Hello everyone, I'm Omid and in this series of videos, I will teach you how to configure VCDL call center suite. In the previous video, we have learned how to install VCDL using VCBox server. In this video, we will learn how to give access to the default VCDL user. By default, it doesn't have any access and in order to proceed configuring your VCDL server, you need to give it proper access. We will continue by creating groups. Then we will add phones. And finally, we will install and configure Zoiper soft phone. Let's get started. Okay, this is the VC dial that we have installed in the last video. And we have logged in for the first time and we have changed the password. So I log in with the new password. And as you can see in the admin panel, uh, we can see the items, but for example, if you go to the reports, you don't have any permission. Or for example, if you want to create a group, uh, you may see the group, but as you are clicking, you don't have any permission. So the first step is that the default user that is 6666, uh, you need to give proper access to that. So you need to come to the admin interface options. As you can see, view reports set to one change agent campaign so that the uh, admin can change the campaign set all the actions to one all the access to one uh, here modify leads yes download list so we set everyone to one Unfortunately, it doesn't have any bulk action that we can set all of them to one at the same time. So we need to do it one by one. And uh, agent API access set it as one because if you don't have this access, you you can't do some specific uh, functions. You can use some specific functions such as a spy or uh, batch. So. Uh, you need to set this one as one as well but uh, this is very uh, important you don't need api and least restrict and also you need to remember that this is very important don't set this to one or you can't log in anymore and you need to change a lot of things in the database so uh, remind that you can't change api only user to one because then your user will be api only so we just submit and now, for example, if you go to reports, you can see you are able to see all the reports. Or for example, user groups that we didn't have access, now you have access. After we give access to the default admin user, uh, the best action I can think of is to create a new user group. Uh, it's not a mandatory step, so you can use the admin user group, but I highly recommend to create a user group so that you can segregate access later. Uh, to create a new user group, you need to click on the user group and then add a new user group. We can give it a name. For example, I want to name it as demo and then the description of the group, demo uh, UG. Let's make the capital as well, demo UG. Submit. As you can see, user is created. Uh, for now, uh, you can go and uh, set different options, which campaigns they have access, but for now, that's enough. And we, because we want to create a phone, the next step, and we need to have a user group so that the administration of this user group can admin that phones as well. Now is the time to create the phone because we have our own user group. We can go to the admin 
we can click on the phones you can see there are some uh, phones that is already added by the system we can click on the add a new phone and then put an extension 1001 let's start with 1001 and dial plan number voice mailbox number outbound color id and the user group we set as demo the the user group that we have created the agent screen login this is the actual username that the uh, user will use in the uh, next step to log into the panel to the agent panel login password let's keep it simple and put it same as the uh, login user but in the production definitely you should not use the same password as the username even for the login registration password this is the password that we will use for uh, SIP registration in our phone in our IP phone or in our soft phone so this is the SIP registration and this is the web panel password uh, phone type you can uh, put a name for it it's not important so just for your own information and the name for this user let's name this uh, phone is for me so I will put my own name and then the technology the client is SIP or IAX here we will use SIP of course if you have an IAX phone or IAX uh, phone you can use IAX as well and submit as you can see phone is added and if we go to the show phones now we can see our own uh, phone that is 1001 protocol SIP in the server that is our IP address and also the dial plan it's active it's for omit and also it is in the demo user group it means that if i create a user in the demo demo user group then they are able to manage these phones themselves okay and finally the uh, soft phone registration we want to register the sip extensions that we have created in the previous step in an IP phone or in a soft phone I'm using a soft phone I'm using a free soft phone uh, with the name of Zoiper so you can go to zoiper.com click on the download and based on your operating system you can uh, choose download and then the free version I'm using Mac and I have already downloaded and installed the Zoiper so I just I don't need to download it and I will just run it type uh, 5 so Zoiper has a, a very um, easy wizard to go through so the first step is to put your extension it is 1001 and you need to uh, as is specified here you need to put your domain name or your IP address here my IP address is 192.168.0.120 here is our SIP password the SIP password if I go to my user uh, this is the registration password so I will copy the registration password and then I will paste here you can view your password as well to ensure that it is correct then we click login it will automatically set the host name we click next we don't need we don't we are not using any spc or any proxy server out on proxy so uh, just skip it will automatically detect that uh, your system has a sip account and it is listening and if i click next as you can see it is registered 